Close your eyes and gather your thoughts right here. Gather your attention right here. The Buddha says that when the mind is in concentration, it's egaka, which means it has a single gathering place. All the bits and pieces of your mind that get scattered about. You can bring them back together right here, put them back together. And they strengthen one another. When they're scattered, each one has just a little bit of strength. But when your attention is here and your intention is here, all your thoughts are right here, with the breath coming in and going out. Then they have a lot of power. That's the power that comes from conviction. That what you do with your mind really does make a difference. The world tells you otherwise. They say that the real world is the world of material things, and the mind is just a reaction. But the Buddha turned that around. He says the mind is what comes first. What you do with a clear mind is going to lead to happiness. What you do with a defiled mind is going to lead to sorrow, which means that the power for shaping your life is right here. All the more reason to gather your thoughts right here. If you see anything unskillful coming up in the mind, you get rid of it. Anything skillful, you encourage it. Like right now you're encouraging concentration, encouraging the mind to stay with the breath, not to change. You're keeping that in mind. That's mindfulness. So you've got persistence, mindfulness. When the mind finally does settle down, you've got concentration. And when the mind is concentrated, then it can discern things as they're actually happening. So you can see what's right, what's wrong, what's skillful, what's not, what's causing suffering, what you can do to put an end to it. It's because everything is gathered right here that you can see it clearly. It's like having all your wealth in one place. You don't have to worry about, is this little piece of wealth going to disappear? How about that one over there or that one over there? You've got it all where you can see it, and you can be in charge. The Buddha talks about the strengths of mind and faculties of mind. Strengths are when good qualities are strong. Faculties is when they take over. They're really in charge. You want your conviction and persistence and mindfulness, concentration and discernment to be in charge of your mind. Because otherwise, what? Greed, aversion, and delusion, they take charge. And they scatter you all about. So gather your thoughts right here. Gather your attention right here. The mind will become strong, and then the good qualities of the mind will take over. That way you can learn how to trust yourself a lot more. Then when you go out into the world, you'll do and say and think things that are actually useful. Because the good parts of the mind have gotten strong.